Listen up, you patch diehards and boardroom sharps. I'm Mark Roach, and I've got the pulse of the upstream U.S. oil and gas game locked down tight. It's Tuesday, April 1st, 2025, and I'm dishing the straight dope, rolling from last Friday, March 28th, right into yesterday's grit. Buckle up. There's a pulse pounding under the surface, and it's not just crude. Here's the rundown. The Permian play, geology is still the buzzkill. Take the Permian Basin, America's oil kingpin. Word since Friday has been brutal. It's slamming into a wall, and I'm not talking about cash flow. Geology is swinging the hammer. More water, more gas, less of that sweet crude. Production's wheezing, costs are spiking, and sharp minds are whispering, peak output? Like it's a dirty secret. Politicians hollering, drill, baby, drill, but tell it to the rock. It's got the final vote and it's not budging. Since yesterday, the vibe's unchanged. This is a gut punch to those big growth dreams, a slow bleed with no quick fix. Is the rumor mill buffered by the pause on business due to the tariff cloud? Are there real tier one shale development programs under wraps? Well, we'll have to wait and see. Jobs chugging along. Texas tough. Over in West Texas, where oil's still near a religion, jobs are still kicking. February's numbers, the latest that we've got, show upstream work ticked up. That's not fresh news today, but the fields pulse into late March last week. Even with the Permian gasping, the workforce is steady tough, unbowed. A shot of adrenaline for the little guy out there holding the line tough through yesterday's grind. Policy shifts offshore. Gulf's getting the green light. Now the feds are stirring the pot. Since Friday, the Department of the Interior has been loosening the reins, streamlining rules to juice offshore production. Now this is far from paper pushing snooze. It's it's a green light for Gulf rigs. Details are still fuzzy as, as of today, but I'm betting that this could spark action. Opportunities knocking for the upstream crowd ready to ride the waves. Keep your eyes peeled. Gas cost. Russian pipes versus LNG hauls. Well, here's where it gets juicy. Natural gas is stealing the spotlight. Russian pipeline gas is still the cheapest alternative of the bunch in Europe. It clocks in at six to eight dollars per million BTU. That was back in, in or throughout much of 2025 so far. Think Turk Stream to Turkey or power to Siberia to China, direct, no frills delivery. Compare that to LNG imports, especially. U.S. juice hitting Europe at $10 to $15 per million BTU. Liquefaction, shipping, regasification. It's a cost stack up that stings. Yesterday's chatter pegged Russian gas at $3.50 per megawatt hour versus Dutch TTF LNG at $13.30 per megawatt hour. And China's laughing with $8 per million BTU pipeline deals while LNG there runs 10 to 12. Europe is stuck paying a premium since 2022, but Russia's eyeing Asia, 35 miles from a, a Japan pipeline, they say. Contracts and trade barriers shrink that gap some, but the raw truth, pipeline's still king on the cheap. Uncertainty is the real boss. Back to the dicey stuff. The Dallas Fed energy survey hit late last week. Q1 2025 activities up solid. But company outlook dipped. Uncertainty through the roof. Oil prices are jitterbugging between $50 and $70 a barrel. Good luck on budgeting on that ride. New tariffs, jacking casing and tubing costs 25%. That's a storm brewing into 2025, and execs were sweating it yesterday. The Permian's hiccups could lean on gas, but LNG's price tag bites hard. The big picture buzz? 
global chess and flat prices. Zoom out, it's a barn burner. U.S. production's at records high. Flattening prices like a West Texas highway. Sanctions on Iran and Venezuela are squeezing supplies short-term. Global chess moves are hitting home. These are not Friday specials. They've been simmering all month, still greasing the, the gears from rig floor to corner office. Add Russian gas undercutting LNG and the board's a mess. Europe's overpaying. Asia's cashing in. And we're stuck in the middle. The roach take? Slow burn. Big stakes. So what's the play? The upstream sector's in a weird spot. Geology's clamping down in the Permian, policies cracking doors offshore, and gas card costs are a wild card. Russian pipelines schooling LNG on price, but availability, that's a geopolitical crapshoot. Jobs hold tough, but the tension's thicker than a driller's handshake. Since Friday, it's no fireworks, just a slow burn with stakes climbing by the day. I'm skeptical of raw, raw hype about rigs popping up like daisies. This game's about economics, not grit and guts. Still, there's a fight left. Permian slowing? Gas might step up. Offshore's opening? Jump on it. Adapt or get left in the dust. That's the dispatch from the oil patch and the gas lines. Mark Roach, FutureWise Energy, signing off. Stay sharp out there.